Satellite communications play a vital role in the space industry as well as our daily lives, be it watching television, listening to the radio, using the internet or mobile communications. More than half of space-related business results from building and launching communication satellites. And if the space industry is to remain sustainable, the SATCOM sector must continue to flourish. The SATCOM industry is really the mainstay of the European space industry. And uh, currently, uh, Europe is in a difficult uh, economic situation. And I guess this is indeed the right moment, if you like, to, for the member states to, to put some priority on the, all the efforts that could lead to growth and, uh, and uh, improvement of the competitiveness of the European industry. Three, two, one. Top. Innovation is key to the industry's success and survival. When Hylus-1 launched in 2010, it became Europe's first satellite developed and launched as a result of a public-private partnership. After becoming operational last year, it's now providing broadband services to many countries in Europe. A programme for the next generation platform of geostationary satellites, NEOSAT, will be presented at the forthcoming ministerial. In parallel, another public-private partnership is being proposed with a technological edge. Its aim is to uh, introduce uh, a fully electric propulsion satellite on the market. And uh, so this is uh, quite uh, innovative, at least in Europe. We have not done that yet. And this is by becoming uh, quite uh, important on the market. We see some uh, American companies already being able to develop uh, some uh, competitive, if you like, solutions. We, we have to get, uh, to get access to this technology in Europe as well. An all-electric satellite removes the need for chemical propulsion to transfer satellites into a final geostationary orbit. Without the weight of conventional fuel, the launch of a satellite would be more cost-efficient and more resources could be put into the payload. A number of other advances are already underway as part of ESA's Advanced Research in Telecommunications Systems Programme. These include the ongoing development of a SATCOM solution for air traffic management called IRIS within the framework of the single European sky plans. The European data relay system is also being extended. These are satellites that relay information between satellites and positions on Earth, reducing time delays in the transmission of large amounts of data and making on-demand data available at the right time and the right place. By exploiting space-related technologies, combining telecommunications, Earth observation and navigation systems, ESA wants to make the most of its space assets with satellite-based services, helping growth and competitiveness in Europe.